Well, great day, everyone. We're down here at the uh, farm. This is one of my favorite uh, spots on the farm. This big old tree, it just reminds me to stay steady. Sometimes just stay in the same spot and uh, just keep putting down roots a little bit further and uh, get a little stronger so you can last a little bit longer. I want to talk to you today about purposes and plans uh, and pursuits. You know, the Bible says in one place uh, to, that we are to pursue peace. Peace is God's purpose. And his definition of uh, peace is a lot broader than, than uh, what we would, what we would uh, define peace as. For most of us, peace would be a, a, a lack of problems, uh, nothing uh, you know, no troubles, all of that. But God's uh, definition is of peace is well-being, uh, that sense of well-being that comes from knowing that uh, in Him and with Him, together with uh, Him, our lives are already purposed, they're already planned, they're already put together uh, by Him. And so uh, one simple definition of peace on uh, the God side, the Hebrew words in there, there's simply this, nothing missing and nothing broken. And uh, now, just like this piece of property here, 77 uh, acres, uh, more we have more than we can do and more than we can see any way to use at the present moment. However, uh, we're we're confident that this was God's purpose for our life, that he would uh, use that not only uh, for our benefit, but that we could uh, be a blessing to other people, come to you on a weekly basis to share this world uh, together uh, with you. That's God's purpose, that we're blessed to be a blessing. But also, uh, the plans that he has for us are already uh, recorded in his book from... Uh, the beginning before the foundation of the world God saw you and your position and your condition and uh, uh, knew all uh, knew all about it but he encourages us to pursue that purpose pursue that those plans and to pursue peace where there be nothing missing nothing broken now that's going to be an internal thing before it is an external thing sometimes you know we just need to stop and uh, look back at all that God has done and where he's brought us uh, from and uh, take inventory of where we are, but also realize that there's still a far distance uh, to go. Uh, it's called, uh, at the end of this life, even eternity. And I hope you've settled that in your life. I know I've got that settled in mind. And that peace with God helps us to have the peace of God uh, and experience that in our life and we can give that away uh, uh, to others. So pursuing peace would, would be first of all, at least for me it is, I hope it would be for you uh, today, maybe this would be helpful uh, to you, is that you get up and realize that God's got it, He's got you, and uh, if, you, uh, if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, then you've got God. And His goodness, uh, is great his mercies are new every morning you know i like the old willie nelson song it says i woke up not dead again today he gave me breath he gave me a, uh, a heartbeat he gave me still hopes and dreams set all the possibilities and potentials out there in front of that front of us uh live our, our lives out before him and give glory and honor uh to him and like i said sometimes I just like to get in the middle of my peaceful uh, place down here uh, at the farm where I can uh, pray, I can uh, look to God, listen to, uh, listen to God, but also be thankful and grateful uh, to God for all that He has done, all that He is doing, and for what's out in front of us. And just take it little by little, step by step, one by one, day by day, layer by layer, uh, and uh, finish well. All is well. Have a wonderful sense of well-being and I want to pray that over you today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for family, 
for friends uh, and for followers and I pray uh, today that they would find that place on the inside as well as perhaps on the outside and the two of them would come together uh, for your scripture says that you cause all things to work together first they come together then they work together both the internals and the externals together for good for us that are called according to your purpose that are following your plans and pursuing that peace peace with you and the peace that only comes from you in the world we have lots of different opportunities or trials and temptations and troubles but Lord we thank you you overcame them and we thank you that in spite of all of everything that's up and down and all around uh, even today in our country in our world maybe in our families maybe in uh, uh, in situations and circumstances that we're in that you have overcome all of that and I just pray the peace of God uh, on and over everyone listening uh, to this today and we thank you for it in Jesus name well I want to thank you for taking time to allow us to come into your your world and share our world with you uh, in all of this may we both come to know God more and more and better and better and greater and greater and live to the praise of his glory thank you uh, again, I want you to remember this until the next time that God loves you, and so do we. You be at peace.